Well, I've just finished the little hunt. It was approximately two to two and a half hours long, which seems to be my usual lengths of hunts because uh, well, people that know us know that I never stop working. And when I do stop working, I'm either out with the family or I'm metal detecting. As the family are either at school or at work, I'm metal detecting. Now, since I found that key up at the mansion house, I've decided to make a, uh, a display case with the key as the center of it. One of these things that goes on the wall for you to display your finds. I've got a lot of national fire service buttons and auxiliary fire service buttons. I'm gonna also use them in the display. Got some nice, uh, just unusual furniture fittings and so on. A lot of old coins. They're all gonna go in that display. So over the next few weeks, I'll be putting that display together and I'll let you have a look at that because it's gonna be really nice to give the people up in the mansion house just to show them what I've been finding from underneath their feet. Now there's been a couple of people tell me that at the start of my videos where you would normally have adverts for god awful things like banks and cars and all that um, there's been a few detectorists videos coming up which is great they're not ones that I've ever seen I mean they may not be ones that I would promote but if they choose to target my channel and promote themselves via the start of that excellent that's great thank you very much and while I'm on the subject of channel promotion you know I like to promote channels that do a little intro and I put them at the start of my videos this is a one from a channel called Depths of History and although it is twice as long as I normally like to put on he's done such a cracking job of this intro I could hardly say no it's absolutely excellent so check this out and enjoy the video This was reading mid 60s, uh, and I was kind of hoping this would be the first pre decimal coin, but I don't think it is. It looks like a modern 10 pence. Yep, modern 10 pence. This was reading mid 70s, and I think it's my nemesis the decimal half pence. They gave a cracking signal, these fellas. Now, needless to say, this gave an excellent signal. I call a lump of iron. Today I'm hoping to find a little bit of old stuff on a site where I found a lot of pre-decimal coins and also a lot of modern coins. Apparently there used to be a 16th century farmhouse just behind me and it's actually been built on with modern houses so given that this woodland has just been cleared out I'm gonna have a little bit of a go in here and see what I can find. And you'll have to forgive me if some of the shots in this video aren't very good. I've smashed my tripod. I don't want to go handheld, so I've cobbled something together, hence the very low angle. I'm going to take a picture and show you exactly what I've done. It's a total nightmare. <laughs> there you go, not the best. I think the first thing I'm going to do is get on eBay when I get back and buy another tripod. Now this next bit is me just basically walking around in circles around the mansion and also on the field where the fate is I always find something even if it's only like the odd pound coin or pre-decimal half penny there's always something to find so if you keep watching you may or may not see me find a coin with an image of Hitler on it 
I can see a little glimmer of green down here. Looks like some sort of badge or something. So I'm going to give that a dig. And hopefully it'll be something of interest. Looks like some sort of furniture fitting. Like an ornate furniture fitting. Could be one for the display case. I'll have to see when it's cleaned up, but um, it's quite a nice find. Well, I'll just haul this one up. There's the imprint. I was reading a 67, which for a big coin seems fairly low. So I'm just wondering what sort of coin this is. Ah, it's a 1950 half crown. A few years earlier and that would have had a bit of silver in it, but unfortunately, no silver at all. Ah. That thing is a stoat. It's a member of the weasel family and they're absolutely like lightning. This is quite a deep one. Approximately nine to ten inches. Which I think is a personal record for the little deus. And that's a Queen Victoria Bunhead Penny. In perfect condition. Beautiful. Uh, let's see the date. 1862. What a belter. And that gave a reading of 77. Very clear signal at a good depth. This is a kind of old depth and it's looks like a, a button or something. A button, possibly a mount of some sort, but that's um, nice and ornate. Gave a cracking signal as well. I was reading about 86. And that's a canny old depth. That's nice. It's going to look nice in a display case. It's absolutely chucking it down now. And I've found a Queen Elizabeth pre-decimal half penny. A halfpenny. I uh, can't see the date on that. Uh, that was a reasonable depth. Maybe seven, eight inches or so, but it still give a nice good signal. Looks like we've got a coin ball here from approximately five or six inches. This was reading 86, so I'm hoping it's something good. Uh, it's a modern penny. Modern penny. What a tragedy. This was reading pretty high, about 88. Look, <laughs> it's a little gun. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Look at that fella. <laughs> Little beauty. Here's a strange one. These two targets were reading exactly the same. They were reading 82 both ways. One's a crushed up bit of can or heavy tin foil, and the other one is a pound coin. This really is the last chance of something decent. I've got a hard packed coin ball here. Well, at least I think it's a coin ball. I hope it's a coin ball. This is going to be my last dig. So I'm hoping it's a coin. It seems a little bit too small to be a coin, so I'm starting to get worried now. Ah! Half pence. There's always time for one more dig, and that's a decent way to end it. It's a hippie from ooh, 1903. It's very worn as well. So that's Edward the Seventh. You can just about see him looking to the right there. Very worn. Good way to end the hunt. Uh, this one's reading 87, 88 as well, so I think it may well be another penny. Oh, but it isn't. It's not a penny at all. Get in there. Get in. That's how close I am to my van. 
I'm literally just about to step over the fence and go home. And I've pulled up a half crown from George the Sixth. Nineteen what does that say? Nineteen forty. So that's fifty percent silver. What a cracking way to end the hunt. Now that is a coin to end the hunt with. <laughs> and I've been over this area a dozen and one times with the E-Track, but I've always had the big coil. And there's a lot of trash in here. So the little Deus with a nine inch coil has managed to see its way through the trash and find me a lovely silver coin. I've just given that coin a little bit of a clean up there, just to let you see what it's like. And it's pretty much immaculate. Apart from George the Sixth looks like Hitler. He's got a bit of a moustache going on there. So, <laughs> 1940, it's when the Nazis were around, so it may well be Hitler, an imposter. Well, to me, he looked like Hitler. I normally just jump over the fence, turn the detector on, charge straight over to where the fate is, or where the fate used to be and start detecting. So that area where I found the half crown is, a, it's a place where I just skirt over. I need to hunt that area more because in the last two minutes of the hunt, I found about five pennies, a pound coin, or a pre-decimal half penny and a half crown. So there could be quite a lot of stuff there. This is a cover that was sent to me by a guy who makes them and sells them. So I'll give you his details later on. You can see that it's been a really dirty hunt. And this is up to the eyes in muck. But all I need to do is just give this a quick rinse under the tap and it'll be as good as new. It really does protect the pointer. There you go, that was just a quick rinse. And I've used this, I've been riving on in the top of the sods and it's not even scratched it. It's really robust. When I first saw them I was worried about it but as soon as it's on, it's really well protected. It's done an absolutely great job of protecting that pointer. And as we know, the pro pointers are susceptible to getting water in around the button and around the light as well. This stops that from happening. And it's an absolutely great idea. Excellent. There you go, it comes with fitting instructions. And to be honest, it is really, really easy to fit. It took me no more than two minutes and it fit like a glove totally protects it. These are made by a fella called Andy and they are sold in aid of Alzheimer's Society. This is one for the Mine Lab Profine 25. So obviously that one's no use to me because I sent my Profine back. I'm going to be giving that one away. This one's a little bit different because it comes with two heads, one of which is the same as the one I've been using. And the other one is attached to like a bungee, coiled bungee sort of thing with a quick release mechanism on. So you can clip that onto an O-ring on your belt, or if you've got a probe holder, it clips onto the side of there. And it just means that you're never gonna lose this probe, which is a cracking idea. Really, I probably should have used that one for mine, but I thought I would give that one away. So I'm gonna give that one away, and I'm gonna give the Mine Lab one away as well. Basically, if you have a probe, get one of these. They're absolutely great. The way I'm going to give these away is um, anybody that puts a comment will be entered into the competition, basically. So just comment on this video. It doesn't matter what the comment is. You can tell me I'm ugly, fat and bald for all I care. I really don't mind. And then what I'll do in the next video, I'll scroll up and down, blindfolded, through the comments, pick one, and that person will win. Um, no, that won't work. Because that one's for a Garrett and that one's for a Mine Lab. What if somebody with a Mine Lab wins the Garrett one? Right, what I'll do... That's the one I'll be giving away. If you put a comment on this video, in the next video I'll scroll down through these comments, I'll pick somebody to win that one. So if you want to win that one, just put a comment on this video. This one is for the Garrett. Yes, and then in the next video, the comments on the next video will be entered for the Mine Lab Pro Find one. That should work, hopefully. Yeah, so that this video, you have a chance of winning that one. Next video, you'll have a chance of winning that one. Doesn't matter where you are in the world, I'll post them out, no charge. It's not a money-making exercise. I don't want any 
donations for postage or anything stupid like that. This is just basically a giveaway. You know, the past few weeks I've been working like a dog day and night, grabbing tiny little hunts whenever I can. And I just feel like the luckiest fella in the world because every time I've been out, no matter how short the hunt was, I've found silver. Which, which is just phenomenal because sometimes I can go for a whole day and find absolutely bugger all. So, I'm not sure what's going right this year, but there's plenty going right. Businesses are going well. Family's all happy and healthy. There's a lot of work to do. But there's no stress because everybody's happy and I'm finding silver. It's absolutely great. <sighs> to be truthful, I'm happy going out and finding nothing because I just like to make use of that little bit of spare time for hunting. Whether that's hunting with a fishing rod, a rifle or a metal detector. It's all good. And I love it all. And I've got to say thank you to everybody over the last couple of weeks who sent me messages and put comments on, basically just giving me their support because it really means a lot to have the support of the detecting community because it's a great community to be a part of. Today, I'm going to go metal detecting and I'm going to find stuff. I don't care what I find, I'm going to get wet. Chances are, I'm also going to get dirty as well. But I do not care. Uh, and it was that, it was near where there was a 16th century farm, according to the fella that. Back today at the mansion house that I hunt around, and I'm in a kind of. Get in! No. Get in there. Well, to me, he looked like Hitler. <laughs> 